Hello everyone and as always I want to thank you for taking the time to watch one of my tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to go over a tool I've found that does a fantastic job at making Joomla templates. Um, of course it can do a lot more than that. It can make WordPress templates, Drupal templates, ASP.NET application, Code Charge Studio, and standard HTML templates. But um, as you know, if you've seen my other videos, I kind of favor Joomla, and that's an open source program that I find meets most business plans needs, and um, so consequently I focus on this one the most. But uh, with that being said, you can just as easily create or export it into the format of WordPress or Drupal. Um, but basically I'm going to hit create a new Joomla project here, and this tool is going to be an interface where I can design colors, sizes, heights, width, basically everything that you can possibly think of that are going to be parameters or things in a template that you can change to make it look unique, this tool can do it. Now how it works is it's divided up into different sections that basically include the different elements of a template. So for example, they've broken down a template into its colors and fonts, into the basic layout, where's the header going to be, is it going to be a top bar or bottom bar, if it's going to be a top bar, of course it's going to move the header up here the columns, you know, do we want a uh, two column with the main column on the right hand side or do we want a three column layout? Well we got two sidebars. Um, you can change the background, the sheet, the header, the menu, the articles, and as you can see under each section you get limitless parameters to change color, style, I mean you name it. You can even insert your own graphics and pictures. So uh, with that being said, each subsection here basically uh, you could say has unlimited revision since I mean the color alone you can go to the color wheel and get um, you know any endless amount of colors and the hues thereof and it breaks down each area into these different sec or breaks it, it, t it takes the entire template breaks it down into these different sections that are across the top row here and then under each section you get this uh, nice array of options and parameters to control that section now one thing they have as a tool is the suggest design and you'll notice that this tool is he here suggest colors suggest layout you can suggest a whole new template altogether or you can go in and let's say I like everything here but I want to change the header I can hit su just suggest header and as you can see it randomly creates different headers that's the neat thing about this tool is that it takes each area and the limitless parameters underneath and when you hit create design under ideas here it basically creates a unique template that you can pretty be or you can be rest assured isn't going to be copied anywhere else in the world. It's basically like a snowflake maker um, because it's taking um, each section and the endless parameters in that section and then randomizing it into its own configuration. And I'm going to hit suggest design again going to hit it again. This is a great place to start to look for designs that you might want to use. That's kind of cool. Um, those colors, that layout, I mean the only thing I wanted to have is a header. So I'm going to go to page layout here and I'm going to add this style of header. Um, but let's see, I'm now I'm going to go to header and let's say I want no picture. I'm just kind of going through this quick here to show you the different options that you got. Gradient, let's make that that. Let's make the height 125 and let's call this test template for example and there you have it. And let me change the layout to a three column layout. Okay as you can see now it's a three column layout. It's got uh, a look that presumably I'm going to like and now I'm going to export this as a Joomla template. To do that you just go to this export option over here. You give it a name. After you give it a name you hit OK. And basically I've just saved it onto a local area on my machine. So to go and view that I'm going to open the folder that I saved it to. And when I do there's the folder and inside the folder are all the files that are necessary for a Joomla template to work and that's the beauty of the export option of that tool is it lays out all the necessary files, it even makes the thumbnail for it and at this point all you must do is zip it up 
because when you upload a file into your Joomla platform, it uses the zip file, but the zip file has to be configured in a certain way. You don't even have to worry about that. All you have to do is zip the folder, and there's the file because um, it comes with the XML details right here. It comes with everything when you export it, including all the images. See all these images here, okay? Correspond and are in the right format with the right pass, with the right CSS to them that these images in this machine or this uh, tool made. So as you can see the pictures of the background, the block menu item here, the header, the orange, the texture, all this stuff is saved in those images. So here's my current website right now, my personal homepage, planettucker.com, and let's say I want to take this template that I made right here and I want to put it um, in place of this current template I have here. So first you would log in and go into your install area for your uh, in your under your extensions. Again, this video isn't going to go over the details of Joomla. I have that in other videos. But assuming you're into your back end, you go to extensions and the install uninstall, and you'd click browse and basically find that zip file that you just created. Open it and click upload file and install. Once this happens successfully, you'll find the message install template success, and then you'll find this template in your template manager. In which case, to activate. You simply need to move that gold star over the new template. Now it's cool because when you mouse over it, you get to see kind of a thumbnail of what the different templates are going to look like. Kind of having a screen issue here. So I'm going to want to use this dark gold one that I created and export it. I'm going to click on that, hit default. And then when we preview the site, there's my site. And it's got this new look to it. But again, delivers the same content. I've got the drop-down boxes, everything. Very, very slick, very quick, and an incredible way to make your own custom templates. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to my default template, or the one that I had before I changed it. And when I refresh the page, you'll notice now I'm back to that different look. So again, as you can see, what this tool does is it is a template maker, meaning it changes the way your site looks, and that is it. But that's a very, very important thing and a hard thing for a lot of webmasters to overcome, because if you want to take the time to learn exactly how a Joomla template works, the structure, the file structure, the things that need to be in place for the Joomla core to talk to that, those files that make it look differently, you're maybe looking at weeks of weeks of time, and then to do that by hand is certainly going to take you just as long. So this is an incredible shortcut that can help you make not just standard templates that people copy and paste and use over and over, but, but a very unique and personalized template just for you that nobody else has. So um, click on the More Information link on the right-hand side to get the link to go to the company f with this tool. Um, but I can say that this has been one of the more uh, better buys I've had, or, or one of the best buys I've had as far as webmaster tools, because it's really been one of those items that um, it was $125 as the, the, the recording of this video, and it was one of those things that after I purchased, it had more and more features than I had originally bought it for. So um, I've just been continually impressed by it. I've even had two updates since my original per purchase, um, and the subsequent update had like I think 21 module positions it added to the template. Uh, for example, Here's my home page, and here are the different module positions available with the default template export from this tool. As you can see, there's a lot of different areas that you can utilize for banners, module positions, uh, just, just really about anything. And I've only used a fraction of the ones that are available when you export it. So um, with that being said, I just wanted to make you aware of this tool. It has saved me hours of time and given me incredible power over my own templates and templates for my clients. So uh, check it out. Check out the link on the right-hand side. It will take you to this tool. And uh, as, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And that concludes it. Thanks. Bye-bye.